Welcome back to Boating Journey. As Allie and I have said in the past, we moved to Florida to be closer to our favorite places in the Caribbean. Recently, we discovered that it only takes us a quick 90 minutes from wheels up until we are swimming with pigs and feeding iguanas. Come with us on this journey to Great Exuma in the Bahamas. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. Exuma was settled around 1783 by American expats fleeing the Revolutionary War. They brought a cotton plantation economy to the islands. Georgetown, the capital, was named after George III, to whom the settlers maintained their loyalty. The Exuma district consists of over 365 keys or islands. The largest key is Great Exuma and measures 37 miles in length. There is approximately 7,000 people who call the Exumas home. We are headed to Exumas for a few days, so I am excited. It's Miami Airport, and we are walking to our gate, which is gate 55, which is the farthest gate uh, around. So, here we go. So, are you excited about going to the Exumas? Yeah, I wanna, I wanna see the water. So, I was here exactly a year ago, link down below for work. And this time we are returning for my birthday for a quick four days. So we've got, some, birthday to you. we've got some fun things planned. We're gonna do the iguanas, we're gonna do human pigs, stuff I didn't get to do last year, so. We are in first class and there's no one here. <laughs> so finally get upgraded to first class. It's only an hour flight, but first huh? Not even. Not even, but we'll take it. Is that the quickest time we've ever gotten in? <laughs> we got through customs. Well, immig well, I don't know. We just got through. Was that immigration? Customs and immigration. Immigration yeah. in two minutes. We're already in a taxi in one minute. <laughs> Once we finished our check-in process, it was obvious that traveling on a Wednesday during hurricane season was the way to go in the Bahamas. We got in and out of customs and immigration within minutes. This was probably the smoothest and quickest check-in process that we've ever had. In fact, we were given a golf cart tour of the entire property prior to being let off at our room. I think this might be the first time that our luggage actually arrived before we did to the room. We love the Emerald Bay Sandals Resort and will definitely return in the future. Wow, okay, so already I see a phenomenal view, but before we even get there, I think we are totally taken aback by this, this journey. So if you know anything about Scott and I, whenever we travel, especially sometimes the sandals, by the time you get to immigration, customs, get your taxi, wait for your taxi, get there, it can be an hour and a half. 
We literally flew across the ocean, uh, which is the Gulf Stream. Mm -hmm. We made it in 45 minutes. We went through customs in two minutes and, and we ca caught a taxi in one minute and we were in the hotel by 12 minutes. <laughs> This is the fastest. What time is it? It's 5.23. So an hour and a half from when we took got on the plane. <laughs> yes. I like it. So anyways, this is our room. Let's give you a quick tour before we get it dirty. Let's start with the bathroom. Why not? So, sorry, I'm like a little bit hot. Nice big bathroom. Yeah, big devil Double vanity. vanity. Big soaking tub. I don't oh. take tubs anymore. Standalone shower. shower, love that, and a toilet room. We and most importantly, a separate toilet room. To and then we have behind you, it looks like closet space, I guess. Yep. Oh, Lots that's... of closet space. Yeah. I mean, it's deep, and so, I think it's a double. It is. It goes through all four doors. His and hers, plus a blanket. Not sure why you would ever need that. It's no. so hot. We also have we oh, safe. off. We got off. We got a safe. Umbrella. We hopefully we don't need that this week. And this is our room. Nice and spacious. That we haven't had a king bed in a year and a half. Since well, we when we were in Barbados, we did. And more importantly, check out our view. Now I should have said that before I oh, figured out how to get out. Oh, that was pretty easy. And this is why you come to the Bahamas. Look at that water. So we are going to spend the next four days enjoying that water. Cannot wait. Beautiful. It's, it's about eight degrees cooler here um, in Bahamas than Miami and Fort Lauderdale. So we are going to completely enjoy this cool down. Oh, good morning. It is our first day here at uh, Emerald Bay. And we picked this one because it has a really big bay, as you can see behind me. And we're hoping to be able to take the Hobie cats out or go kayaking. But it is a red flag day, of course. Seems like where we go, it's a red flag day. So that may not happen. Scott's already walked down to the, the beach. I'm gonna go check out the water myself. But tomorrow we are headed out onto a, um, a snorkeling trip to see the pigs and the iguanas. So hopefully it's not too rough for us. We're going to check in here and see they do a snorkeling trip here from the beach on the resort's boat. So we'll see if that is still going to be available too. The next day we enjoyed, and I use that term loosely, a 45 minute drive across the island to our tour boat. Except for a mile or two of nicely paved road, we spent most of the trip traversing unpaved roads and potholes, which threatened to swallow our van. However, we enjoyed getting to see the island scenery. Upon boarding our double-decker power cap, we headed out to Pig Island. As it turns out, it was not the famous pig beach near Staniel Key, but rather a smaller but less crowded island with plenty of pigs. Next time we'll read the small print. Feel free to help yourselves. Move around as much as you like. Go to the front, come up top. The crew provided feeding instructions to ensure you'd return to the boat with all your digits. Directly towards them as they swim up to you, okay? That's how I want you to feed them every single time. Don't turn the camera, oh. don't hold it up like that. Don't point your fingers towards them like that. Because then they got something to grab onto. Hold it like this. Just come back towards <laughs> Look them like at that. the little one. And then when they swim up to you, just give it to them just like that. See that? I just really wanted to see them. I fed a million pigs, so...
stingray right there. One thing we learned is that the crew brings plenty of fresh water and feed each time they visit the island. The pigs are well cared for by the locals. But he's kind of a big one right here too. After spending some time with the pigs, it was time to pull anchor and head over to a blue hole for snorkeling. Unlike some blue holes, this one dropped to only 30 feet in depth. Still plenty deep as you peer over the edge. There were also plenty of fish. Given the chop on the seas, the waters weren't as clear as they could be, but still worth the snorkel. From there, we cruised through the smaller keys before relaxing on a beautiful sandbar. We needed this rest as our next stop would be to feed the iguanas. I see you. No, you see your reflection. You don't see me. Oh. No. I'm good. A short cruise from the sandbar, and having avoided a major squall, we anchored off Iguana Island. It's amazing how they know to come out as soon as the boats arrive. They were very docile and ate the lettuce right out of our hands. It was quite the experience. And then, just as quickly as it began, it was time to head back to base. The captain did a great job guiding the boat into a very narrow slip without a single scratch. I think next time, Allie and I will look into chartering our own boat. Are you enjoying your... Um, your, your it's a nice <laughs> candle lit without the candles. We have no power. We're in the middle of a thunderstorm and uh, we're having a cocktail. <laughs> and 
we're used to blackouts, but this one I don't think is a blackout. This was, I think, lightning. <laughs> this is the bar. <laughs> so considering it only took us 90 minutes to get here from door to door, I think we'll definitely come back. Oh yeah, no, this is a great location, and Emerald Bay. Unfortunately, it's been a red flag day. You can see the pine sky yeah. every day, so we didn't get the chance to do the hubcats, paddle boards, but I think we came back when it's not hurricane season, it yep. might be a little calmer too. And keep in mind we're on the Atlantic side, not the Caribbean side, so it's always going to be breezier. But we met some fabulous people, we got to do the blue hole, swim with the pigs, mm -hmm. the iguanas, great sand banks. So the Exumas are really gorgeous and that's exactly why we moved down here. <laughs> so. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Be sure to leave your comments down below. Hit the notification bell. And more importantly, subscribe. And we'll see you next time.